All right, hey kids, this is Mr. Pickett again. Uh, what I want to do is I want to, uh, I guess, give you another example. I'm going to keep kind of posting these things out on what I'm looking for. What we're looking at is we're looking at some conservation of mass. Oop, oop, wrong word. Momentum principles right here, okay? Conservation of momentum. And we need to remember that momentum is defined as mass times velocity, okay? We measure mass in kilograms, we measure velocity in meters per second. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to remember that conservation means that we're going to keep stuff. So if we're talking about two objects that are colliding with each other, let's imagine I've got a hand and I've got a fist. These are two different objects. If I have a fist who's moving, 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 it's got so much momentum, and I have a hand that's standing still and it's got zero momentum, when they hit, they're going to interact with each other, and after they hit, there's going to be some sort of an exchange of momentum in some way, shape, or form. In some cases, we're going to get a hit and then a move through. In other cases, what's going to happen is we're going to get a hit and kind of a bounce. All right. Either way, we're going to get some transfer of momentum, but we remember that momentum at the beginning, or initial momentum, is going to be equal to the momentum at the end, or the final momentum, right? So momentum I and momentum F. Sometimes instead of using the term I, I use momentum O, right, as in the beginning as well. And so we can detail this as well. If I'm looking at my fist and my hand as being uh, two different objects, I can say, hey, the momentum of my first object, which momentum of my first object is actually my fist, okay. and then, uh, excuse me, the mass, not the momentum, the mass of my first object is my fist, and then the mass of my second object is just my open hand. Okay. And before the collision, each one of those things has a velocity. What this represents is the velocity of my first object, which happens to be my fist, okay? And what its, what, what its velocity is at initially, and this is the velocity of my second object, okay, which happens to be my hand, initially. That's what the zero means. And then I also have uh, uh, V1F or V2F, right? Both those things mean the final velocities of my objects. So the final velocity of my fist and the final velocity of my hand. Okay. And so if I gave values here, you know, I can say my fist is so much, my hand is so much mass, so that would be a kilogram value, they'd probably be the same. And then I have two different initial velocities, and I have two different final velocities. What I'm going to eventually do is I'm going to actually make this into an equation. Right? And this would be M1V1O plus M1V2O. This represents the initial momentum okay, that both my objects have. And that's going to equal M1V1F plus M2V2F. And this is going to re represent the final momentum okay, of my system after the collision. In some cases, we find that the objects hit and they stay together. And if that happens, we can change this a little bit. And we can recognize that the two masses are together and they only have a final velocity, just one final velocity. So I'd like to change this and just make that a VF. Okay? Hope this helps. Have a nice day, everybody.